John Wick Chapter 4 was a definitive finale for the film series in more ways than one, but that doesn't mean there aren't a few windows still open that John could leap through at any time. John Wick duels with Kane during the epic conclusion of John Wick Chapter 4, and while the hitman conspires to trick and ultimately defeat the film's real villain, the Marquis de Grey Mall, Wick succumbs to his wounds. However, after the heartbreaking last moments of the movie, there's a post credit scene between Kane and Akira that alludes to a possible spin-off, but without the franchise's main character. While producer Erica Lee seems to insist that audiences should accept John Wick's tombstone at face value, she's also not one to count the Baba Yaga out. During an interview with Collider, Lee asked and answered her own question, saying, I think that, is that character of John Wick dead? Yes. Are there other versions or, I don't know, I never say never. It's a long life. We're developing other properties, too, and I think that there's a lot of opportunity for movies starring other characters, or other ways to world-build movies that are sort of handovers to different characters. Indeed, Wick might have perished during his climactic battle at sunrise, but there's another heavy hitter involved in the fight box office. Within days of the movie's release, John Wick Chapter 4 had already made over $150 million worldwide, and the latest installment continues to win over both critics and audiences. So given all the spin-offs in development, don't be surprised if Reeves returns in the future, even if it's just as a cameo. The only way John Wick will ever have freedom and peace is in death. Even though John Wick is dead, the franchise is moving forward. First up, there's the television miniseries The Continental. That will be followed by the feature film titled Ballerina. Interestingly, taking a look at Ballerina's credits on IMDb, Keanu Reeves is listed as a cast member. Because the movie takes place between the third and fourth films, it's reasonable to believe that John Wick could show up in the Anna de Armas-led project. Erica Lee further cemented the connection between the two films when she said, Making Ballerina has actually been a really interesting process because it's a lot of the stuff that we take from the John Wick movie but then it's slightly different. It's been fun to work on John Wick 4 and Ballerina kind of simultaneously, and the TV show The Continental. It's a lot of Wick, but a lot of different versions of it. Erica Lee isn't the only John Wick Chapter 4 producer leaving the door open for more Keanu Reeves in the franchise's future. Producer Basil Iwanek spoke to IndieWire about the film's final moments and what it could mean for the character's future, stating it's an ambiguous ending. Seeing John Wick's grave certainly leaves an emotional impact no one would want to diminish. And it's clear if Wick's going to return to this world of violence, it has to be done in the right way. After all, the movie shows Wick collapsing on a staircase before cutting away to his grave in a cemetery. A lot could have happened between those two scenes, so there's room for Wick to still be alive out there somewhere. I mean, it confirms that ambiguity was intentional. I don't think we've boxed ourselves into any corner whether he's dead or alive at the end of this movie. With so many spin-offs in the works, you better believe that if those pulling the strings think they can make bank by bringing Keanu Reeves back, they'll do everything they can to convince the star to put on his Kevlar-lined suit jacket one more time.